Hey guys, it's me Bert and welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, we're going to use the products that we received in our August beauty subscription. It hit me that um, basically I think today, tomorrow, tomorrow is the end of the month. And I thought if I'm going to get this up actually in August, the month I got the, prescri the prescriptions, eh, the subscriptions in, um, I better do it today. So here we are. Um, so this is the look that I came up with and I used pretty much, well, no, pretty much. I used the revealed three palette that we received. So if you want to see how I accomplished that, please stay tuned and let's get started. So we're going to start with a big um, flat like paddle brush style and we're gonna go into this light color here and I've already primed my eyes so this is just acting as a setting powder for my primer and I find that by putting the primer down and then in turn setting it with a light powder like this it also helps with blending later And then going in with our big fat fluffy brush. I'm going to do like two transition shades today. So starting with the lightest one. This one I'm going to put pretty high. And this one I know that there wasn't much color to it, but I know it'll just add that hint of color later. So next, going into the darker transition shade. So now going in with my Sigma E45 brush, that's that small, thin, really pointed taper brush that I got. And I'm going into this purple color. And this I'm going to put here at my outer third. I'm just slowly building the product and I'm really I'm just really concentrating it here on my outer third okay and then just want to put this here the front corner front third of my eye and again just slowly building it up Going back to my blending brush, no product on it, and I am just blending out the top part. So now going back to this brush, 
and I am just kind of connect I have not put any more product on the brush I am just running it through the crease as to kind of connect the two sides okay now going in with our small flat shader brush going into that gold color and this I really just want to dab in the empty space we created and that center third Kind of brighten up that gold I'm gonna take a little fix plus and moisten my brush and going back into that gold I'm just kind of patting it here right in the very center again just to kind of like brighten it up yeah there we go all right so for eyeliner I think I am actually going to use the plum one that we received in the I believe it was the beauty box five and we're just gonna do just like I always do starting out in the front working close to the lash line applying small dashes just to kind of get some product down and get the basic shape and then and then I want to clean up the edge all right, so using a wet wipe and my finger. That'll do. So laying it down here on the outside. So I'm just sweeping up following the shape of my eye and then I'm kind of connecting the dots here. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other eye and put on some eyebrows and I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, so I decided not to do my eyebrows quite yet because I wanted to go ahead and put on my foundation first. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that with you guys now. And I'm just using my HD, um, the original Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, I still have some left and I'm really trying to just use it up. Um, before I buy the newer one. I'm actually going to try something a little bit different today. Um, I'm using same old, same old products. Um, I'm using the MAC concealer. This is in NW20. And then I'm using a little bit of the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal in Light. And I'm just putting it on the back of my hand and using my flat concealer brush. I'm going to mix those two together. And then I'm 
pretty generously apply it to my under eyes in that triangle shape. All right, and then taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender dupe, I am going to buff this out. This will really help pick up the excess. And as you saw, I did apply it quite heavily. Alright, so using the Real Techniques setting brush, I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier, is it translucent? Yes, the translucent powder. And I'm just tapping it. Trying to use a very, very light hand. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my eyebrows. I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the face. I'm gonna pull out my, let's try not blinding the camera. I'm gonna use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and the brush that came with it. And using the light contour shade, I'm going to contour my cheeks. Now for blush, since we didn't get one, Tarte Blush in Blushing Bride. And I'm adding that right to the apples of my cheeks. I'm pushing it back for highlight. We're gonna use the new one. Um, I'm gonna try putting it on as it is, like a crown crown, crayon, and then I'm going to take a stippling brush to kind of maybe blend it out. That's the thought frame anyways. Let's see how that works out for me. Okay, so for lips, I guess we'll use the nude. But I think, I think, I think, mm -hmm. ease, 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 ease. What the hell? Please help me. Okay, so I think we're done for today. This is essentially the look I came up with using our August Beauty subscription products. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.